are we live? Yep. Finally got that figured out. Do I need to wait a little bit for people to hop on? Does it tell you? People are hopped on? Or does it say like we're Just live? says that we are live. Okay. One person is viewing. Oh, so it does tell you. Yeah. Okay, well, hi there. Uh, my name is Lindsay Dowling. This is Hector. Today we will be doing the Tiger King Part One um, using all Opaw's dice. Hector used to be a show dog, so he is super used to getting groomed, and he's kind of awesome to be able to use for this. I did give him a bath this morning, uh, but he has since, you know, my dog played around, had a good time, went potty, all that good stuff, and we had fresh snow this morning, so he got a little. Uh, Nappy, some might say, but as you can see, I've pre done his haircut to an extent. Um, I shaved this with a 10, and then I've kind of left these a little rough. I trimmed them up a tiny bit, but I'm going to do more of that part next week um, because it'll be done in two parts. I didn't want to fuss too much all in one day. That's something to think about when you're doing creative grooming. Uh, it can take a long time, especially if you're new into it. I know I still take a long time when I've done quite a few creative grooms. Um, but it's art, and you can't really put a time on art, so. All right, I freshly combed through him, and I think we're going to get started. How many people do we have? 23. Oh, wow. Hi, guys. If you have any questions, um, Trevor here will let me know. I also have Chelsea and my mom here. Her name's Leah, but I call my mom because uh, I can't really get out of that habit. So I've kind of done a little bit pre-mixing already because I wanted to play around with this. I actually never use the color dilution cream. Um, but I, in order to do, I don't know if you can see it very well. You can. Oh, you can. Okay, cool. So in order to do, he's kind of got silver on his legs. What I'm going to do today is focus on doing the blue on the body. We're going to do the yellow on his top knot and mullet area. And then down to this part, we're going to do the silver color. I'm hoping it'll work like I have envisioned, but that's kind of why I have this tester here to see how well it's going to work. Um, to let it process. I put little hair clippings and, and threw some on there. So here we go. If you have any questions, again, feel free to ask. I use this table because, um, Chelsea, can you ask me to take your brush? This table is awesome because it's got the lights on it. It's like a groomer's thing. Thicker. Sorry. Uh, because when you're doing creative grooming, lighting is super important. Yeah, because I'm going to. Okay, I just bought these brushes from Michaels and they kind of looked amazing. Um, so I'm excited to, to try them out today. Ooh, I added blue into that. Fun. Okay. Good thing I won't be using that. So you can see it's a pretty good color. I, I try and, you know, color match as much as you can. I used literally probably two drops of the Innocent Blue that Opa sent me. And then quite a bit of the color dilution cream. I'm the person that tends to err on the side of a little light. And you can always dilute it a little more. Speaking of that, I actually want to do a little bit of contrast because his jacket, I don't know if you guys have seen it before, but um, it has quite a bit of shimmer to it. So I'm gonna take and do one little drop of the blue and then quite a bit of the isolation cream to create a lighter. And then we'll, we'll mix the two together as we go throughout. Um, can you pass me another little brush? I'm going to get the one short, smaller one. Skin type? Really small. Uh, this one, and then this one. So you want something to mix it up? Yeah, I guess you can use the same one. There you go, bud. Oh, yeah. So I don't know how well you can see, but that's like a really nice light blue. Um, and I want to mix the two together to kind of get that shade because Opa's also sent me some glitter. So we're going to have lots of fun stuff to play around with when he's all said and done. Um, and I want to help create that like dimension, essentially, between the two colors. There was one time I did a Northern Lights, and I live in Alaska, so Northern Lights are rather abundant around here. Um, and 
We did it on the chest of this border collie, and you can't necessarily tell that I used five different colors, but I did, and it turned out super cool. So this is pretty neat. So I'm just kind of mixing the two together and just making sure that I have, you know, really good coverage that is going to definitely cover him completely. And like I said, I'm going to do this all over his body. And Uh, make sure that I leave good space. Pull this up. I did shave tighter under here in order to make sure that he has that mullet overlap. Can't say I've ever done a mullet before until now, but it's done. I can hear you whispering over there. <laughs> Do you want to know when people say hi? Yeah, sure. Uh, Andrea says, hi, Lindsay. Hi. Natalie says, yay, go, Lindsay. Hi, Natalie. Uh, Nikki Smith says, hi. Hi, Nikki. Uh, Nikki, hi, face Lynn says, star face emoji. <laughs> Lynn Turner? No. Oh, Lynn, Lynn Lou? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I um I don't know. You were probably all like, "Really, you're gonna pick a tiger thing for a Halloween costume?" Oh my gosh, it's kind of surreal seeing me. It's real. Through the camera, <laughs> through. Well, yeah. Oh, it's my face. My face is kind of cut off. You can't see your face at all. Victoria says, hi guys, good boy Hector. Yes, so this is my friend Victoria's dog. Um, she's the one who did all the awesome training with him. Like he used to get bathed every week for the dog shows. So that's why he's so good for all of it. I even just like, I did this darker blue that I was doing into the lighter blue. I'm not too worried about it because all of this is gonna kind of blend together. And because I'll be doing the black pattern that you can see on here next week. Um, you're just kind of like it's delayed. painting a blank canvas. There we go. <laughs> so <laughs> you just have fun with it. That's what I really love about creative grooming. I've gone through some kind of funks wondering you know, what I really love to do. Well, yes, grooming is what I really love to do. But just like in anything, um, you can kind of sometimes lose your, your passion and your initial excitement that you have for it. But creative grooming is a wonderful outlet to be able to reignite that passion. At least it is for me. I know many girls okay. that are just out of the Maybe a tiny bit. Back. He's being so good. You see why I like him? He's just so cute. He likes the attention too. Yeah, anybody that has to deal with, oh, that's so mean to dog. Uh, I always just say, you know what? Like, Last I checked, the dogs really like attention. And I don't know a dog that gets color done that doesn't get a lot of attention. So, for all the negative Nellies out there, just whatever. Go away, Hector. He kind of looks like a, an ocean. <laughs> um, there are some people who, like if you read the directions on the dyes and stuff, it says to use it a little bit damp. Um, I've always, everybody that's worked at Oklahoma has always told me to use it dry, so I've done both. Haven't really noticed a difference per se. What I like about dry coat is I know how it's going to lay. Um, and so that's always helpful when it's when it's wet coat, it kind of clumps together. So if you're doing detailed work, uh, and I think that's why they suggest to do it on dry coat, because it's something that you don't necessarily, heck, you're really going. <laughs> you don't necessarily think about and then you're like, uh, wait, <laughs> that didn't turn out nearly as crisp as I thought it would. Another thing to keep in mind while you are trying to plan your creative groom is what can you realistically accomplish with the hair you have? So this dog, but being that he belongs to a friend of mine too, she pretty much lets me do whatever I want, which is wonderful. But obviously not every dog is that way. And so anytime I have a customer that, oh, I want to do this with my dog. So for example, next week we have an Airedale that's coming in. 
for a tiger stripe doodle. And I'm a little nervous about it, um, but we are going to do the haircut, make sure the haircut's nice and short, because when you try and do detailed work like stripes, um, it it can be a little trickier than you initially would assume. Sorry, he's probably not at a good angle to see. It can be a little trickier than you would assume. So try and plan that out. Do it. It's a lot easier to get detail on shorter hair because the hair moves, obviously, and the more hair there is, the more it's going to move. So just keep that in mind. Andrea from Chile says hi. Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I speak French, but I, uh, that's about it. That's it from English. So if there's any French people out there, I got an ankle brush and I really like it like for precision work obviously this is not precise work and you'll see more precise work next week um, but it's it's great I love it go for it you can sit you can sit cool and I try and work around the dogs as much as possible it's the reason that this is nice and light just so you can see your... oh so you can see Chelsea looked it up. Oh, okay. okay. Greetings from Chile. Okay, cool. I love foreign languages, so keep talking to me. I might not know what you're saying, but keep it up. I'll know. keep Googling. Okay. <laughs> That's one thing I love about social media is that we can all come together for fun stuff like this. You are such a good boy, buddy. Uh, I don't know if you guys were able to tune in earlier, technically it's Sunday, right? So last week, um, but they had some really cool rooms in there. Rachel did a Spider-Man on like a little Bichon. I think it was a Bichon, I'm not entirely sure. Um, and then there was, I got to watch the first part of Lauren's the bleaching one, and that one was really cool too. Uh, it's very important, oh, yeah. it's really nice. because. There wasn't, there's not a lot of info out there about how to lighten your dog, and so I thought she did a great job. I love that Opaz is doing this to try and really encourage people. You know, when they reached out to me and they're like, hey, Andrea messaged me and said, um, do you have any, you know, fun Halloween dice plan? And I was like, yeah, why? <laughs> because I get a little nervous and never done anything like this, to be 100% frank with you guys. Uh, but I believe that life is about opportunities and seizing those opportunities and creative grooming is something that I really, really enjoy. I've never really been an artist, which is funny that I'm doing this, um, but it's a lot of fun. And so she asked me, she's like, well, we're doing this, partnering with some groomers. Um, what do you want to do? And I was like, oh man, you know, my, my partner was just like, what should I do? Should I do something that... I think a lot of people are going to do, or should I do something that is going to resonate with this year? <laughs> and so I, of course, picked the Tiger King uh, because I thought, let's just do something a little different. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not very good at looking at the camera, guys. So I just want you to keep the dog in mind. Oh, Tiger. You just look so like a pretty sky. Do you guys have any questions on what I'm doing? How to do this? You're doing great. Yang said. Who said that? Yang. Yang. Oh, thank you, Yang. I feel like I'm painting a sky here. It's actually really pretty. And again, this is all the um, innocent? Yes, innocent blue. So uh, something that I did beforehand, I don't know if you all were able to tune in earlier, um, but I like kind of pre-mix some colors to see, especially the black, because I don't know if you've used super black before, but if you haven't, you might want to try it and do some testing for sure, uh, because that color takes very well. It's an awesome, awesome black, but um, it takes a little while to start to see where you applied it, because like this is the, I mixed up super black. I'm sure it probably takes really well here. But it takes a while to actually set and start to see a black color. And so it's 
good to test it. What? Something. Oh. Courtney said, yes, you rock. That's my sister. She's a little biased. But I'm okay with it. The nice thing about this, too, with having the couple different dimensions. Oh, you're such an attention center person. Shut up. Um, what was I saying? I'm losing my mind. I'm lost in the art world. You're saying something about your sister. Yeah, I said she's a little biased, but. Maybe somebody else is. The different, like the multi color for the texture, uh, you can, like, so say if I didn't mix up enough, you know, it's always a good idea to mix up plenty if you really can only do one color. Like, I'm a little worried about this blonde, but now that I think about it, most blondes are not just one color. And goodness knows, Joe's exotic hair is not uh, the most bougie <laughs> hairstyle. Um, so that's kind of another reason I picked it because uh, I can have fun with it, you know, like this is it's not going to be 100% Joe Exotic, but the more that I can make it that way, the better, right? Because I can have fun with it. And that's why I picked him. Um, I thought his character, the person that he is, was hilarious. Definitely a little different. Well, exotic, you might say. Uh, and so I was like, that's this year to a T. Let's do something I also have, um, my dad's girlfriend has a mastiff that she is going to let me do like a tiger and I'm hoping to do a photo shoot, uh, basically recreate that image with Hector perched up on a mastiff, um, like a tiger or on the tiger. It'll be great. I hope. Two questions. Yep. Lindsay, can you tell us the size of the blade you use to do the body, please? I sure can. It is a 10. I use a template. Um, the shorter you go, the easier it is to do the detail. And I'm keeping in mind that it's going to be a week in between me doing him today and next week when I'm doing the black on his body. So I might even next week, depending on his grow out, um, pre-shape him a little bit before I, I come blind again and make sure that everything's nice and, and crisp and clean. If I have to do any touch-ups, I will. Because... Because I'll be doing that black and it's so detailed, I want to make sure that I have nice short hair to, to get the crisp lines that are in his jacket. Victoria said, how long will the color have to process once you get it all on? So it's usually 20 minutes, they say. It depends. The black itself, 40 minutes. Um, I'm starting with his body because he usually does the most wiggling in the beginning and it's really easy to do an all over color on the body and then eventually he'll like lay down and that's when I'll do his neck and top hat and stuff. Um, that's another thing that is really good to think about too is understanding the dog that you're working with and what they're used to and their comfort levels. You know, not all dogs are super trained and chill on the table. Like I could not have a noose on this dog and walk out the front door and he's not going to jump off the table because he's, he knows better. You know, he's used to being in a dog show and all of those things. And so, um, not that I'm going to do that, <laughs> but he's just super used to all of it. He's really well trained. He likes the attention, like I said. Um, so yeah. Any more questions? No more questions. You like any? Amy said it was a great choice of yours. Uh, well, <laughs> Amy, I love you because you know how forgetful I am. Amy and I were actually talking, and I, you probably suggested it. I don't remember, but I'm really glad either way. So I'll give Amy all the credit for it because I don't care. And I appreciate any and all help I can get because I was like, oh God, I want to do something different, blah, blah, blah. I think you sent me the image, didn't you? Did you send me the image, Amy? Maybe, I don't know. I'm horrible for that, guys. I think there's a delay also on this. Oh, okay. We'll get you an answer later. It's been a little bit. I'm really glad that I did a 10 on this. Because I originally did a seven last week when I was prepping in, and then I saw the grow out this week, and I was like, Ooh, I'm gonna do a tent. Take it nice and short. <laughs> yeah, go boy. I originally had his um, boots up a little higher as well, but I decided I thought it looked a little cuter. 
not put all of it. Hold on, guys. Hold on. So I'm making sure I get his mullet out of the way. And I definitely believe in talking to the dog, encouraging them, positive reinforcement. Get any response? No. She's just too busy. This actually might end up being like the perfect amount of glue. What do you guys think of how it looks so far? Thus in the room or <laughs> <laughs> anybody at this point, it's so awkward talking to a screen. <laughs> It's blue. Mm -hmm. Can you see that like difference in texture? And you can. Mm -hmm. You can? Yes. Oh, good. And that's what you're going for, yes? So that's, yes. You're yeah, only diluting see. so much of it? Hmm? Is that like a dilution? Yes. This, one is, this one's more diluted than that one, yes. Okay. I used like two drops of the Innocent Blue, and this was just one drop. Gotcha. It's quite a bit of color dilution. But like I was saying earlier, you know, even if I found out that this wasn't enough, I could make up some more, and that's going to be a little bit of a different dilution. Oh, is that my hair a little blonde? Um, and that's okay, because I'm trying to create different dimensions here. Gotcha. When I did him like a rainbow, I really tried to like, okay, how can I plan this out? And I was used to using some dyes that weren't as good of a quality as like Opaz's, and so I was wor really worried about bleeding. <laughs> and uh, I didn't have that issue at all. But I was trying to be prepared for it. So I'm going to the belly and now he'll lay down. Okay, so go over here. Come here, bud. Uh, Ann Sunquist said awesome. Amy said beautiful. <laughs> and Andrea said loving it. Yay! But Amy, you didn't answer my question. How's that look? Draw my king. Looks like your hair's gonna be blue soon. I'm okay, I already got some color in my hair. Let's just go for a rainbow. That's okay. Don't worry. Hey, you're doing so good. Mama's watching. Yes, she is. You hear that, Hector? Mama's watching. Look at those wrinkles. Did you say look at his wrinkles? Yeah, when you oh, stand them up. Oh. He's an old man. You gonna get stretch in? He was so excited when I tipped him up this morning. He was like, oh, the adventure was on Wednesdays! Woohoo! Then he's like, wait, we're going to the shop? No, I'm just kidding. He likes danger. Okay. Another thing to be mindful of, once you get it on your gloves, try not to <laughs> get it all over the parts that you don't want blue. Yeah. That's why I put a towel down. Do you remember this set of gloves? Um, no, I think I'm okay because I pretty much got it off. Okay. Can I help you, Mom? No. Uh, Mom, can you show me the huge spirit because I'm pretty much done with the blue? Can you make these back for me? Thank you. <laughs> can I drop and break it first? Yeah, you can do whatever you need to. Nice big shot. Alright. yellow but I use this gorgeous mm -hmm. one. Um, and I didn't use a lot of it I probably used like maybe a quarter size 
compared to what I've now filled this up with. I don't know how well you can see it. Um, you can kind of see it. Okay. And it, it's still pretty yellow. So, and like I said, I cut the rest so it was color the lucian green. I'm actually going to add a little more because I'm going for blonde here. So keep that in mind. to be good while you're working on their front for a very long time. Can't. Okay, I'm well, fighting the delay. Oh. So. <laughs> the table is on the What you see in your phone on the live stream is different than what you see on the live stream. So. Gotcha. Oh, I can hear it delayed in there. Someone else's phone. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, you can. Oh, it's the. <laughs> it's the speaker. <laughs> We're still really easily amused by technology <laughs> up in Alaska. Hey, we're not backwards. We're no. forward thinking. We are I'm joking. Oh, the bigger one I would actually love to use because this is going to be a good wash. Thank you. So, Chelsea is my wonderful manager at my first location, and I know she's super excited that I'm talking about her mm -hmm. on here. Insert my sarcastic voice right here. Um, but she's wonderful, and I think she deserves credit because I would not be able to do anywhere near the things that I can do without knowing that I have an awesome person holding up the fort and rocking it at our other location. I want to. Ooh, okay. Okay, so I don't know if this is starting to get better to where you can see the blonde more. Anything yeah. Just Oops. Just a hair. Move it up. No. Don't you? Okay. Oh, it's 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 yeah. yeah. Just a hair. So, are there a lot of you guys that already do creative grooming or wondering about getting into it? Um, wondering how to price things? I know that's been kind of a good question or an often question that people have had is. You know, how do you price it? Well, I really think that depends on your area. I see just a huge difference in pricing across the country in general for grooming. Um, but at the end of the day, with what you charge for a regular dog, and depending on how long it takes you, try to do some math and figure out like, okay, this groom is going to take me how long? Well, it needs to be worth your time, you know? Um, for me, owning a shop is a little different because I can try and like make my schedule whatever I want it to be. And I prioritize things differently um, than other people do. And for me, I like know that I need a creative outlet. So um, I was like, I'm gonna do this and I wanna do it for my friends and that kind of stuff. And that's kind of how it's taken off. I, I did start off doing it like just on my own dog. Um, I did it on my colleague Maya way back like 10 years ago at this shop before it was mine um i gave her some tiger stripes on her body and they did not turn out very good she kind of looked like she just got back from jail <laughs> <laughs> um and I, I think i used like manic panic from sally beauty supply and which is fine but it bleeds a lot so then later as the dyes have gotten better and just more has come out um 
Instagram is a really powerful tool for learning about creative grooming. I've seen so many talented groomers on there. And I've learned a lot. Um, that's one thing I really like about Instagram is the wealth of knowledge that is spread amongst professionals, as well as people who are just kind of curious about stuff. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing. So yeah, for me, I started with my rock colleague, Maya. Um, and did it a slider of all things. Actually, I think maybe it was a zebra. I just remember stories. I think it might have been a zebra, which would make some more sense why she looked like she came from jail. Um, and then, so like when Victoria got him, I was like, oh my gosh, she's so beautiful and he's white. Huh? He's okay. I'll work around him. Um, and he's white, so I could do him. I asked her, I said, please, before you make me chop off his hair, because she was growing out and showing him. Um, I'm trying to just come around there. Will it still be okay in the frame? Uh, depending on where you stand. I mean, I can also move. So this is where I really like that curvature or the angled brush is you could like, whoop. I can take it and pull it like that. Oh. Here, let's... Try and do that. There we go. So I'm gonna kind of lift. It's okay if I get the blue in there. That's not a big deal. I can always clean it up with the red lighter or clipper. So I've got some right there, a little bit over there. No big deal. This is. I think this is gonna be a great blonde color, like a really crappy. Do it at home. <laughs> blonde, <laughs> like uh, a certain Tiger King. Um. Anywho. Yeah, I, so Victoria got him. She was like, okay, I want to finish it first, which, yes, totally makes sense. And she had, he had beautiful hair. I mean, it was like down to here, <laughs> all over. My husband would like to know, what are some of the doggy sleep ingredients in a hair dye? Please don't actually. <laughs> um, I am sure that Andrea could probably actually answer this question for you because she works for Opal. We could also talk about it. Uh when Hector's getting bathed? Well, I don't know the full ingredients list. I just know that it was designed for pets. Got ya. Uh, and I used it multiple times and I never had a reaction. I know a lot of people have used it multiple times and I have yet to hear anything negative. Um, anywho, what else was I saying? Oh, so she, she no, got him. No. His hair super long, beautiful, and I, for whatever reason, I just always really wanted to do like a fun rainbow look on him. So, and so yeah, that's what we did. I put his hair like he had so much hair. I put it back into a man bun. <laughs> he looks so cool, so cute. It turned out pretty awesome. I'm just having this so you can see what you look like. Oh, okay. What's in the frame and what's not? Yeah. What is in the frame? Oh, good. No. Oh, got the dog on my back. I was trying to get the, where you're sorry, actually pushing. So make sure you get nice and saturated in there. Rick it in. Ooh, good boy. lightening his darker areas because I think I mean if you look at Joe Exotic's mullet like on the side he's got dark anyways. I don't know if you can see that but like on this side Hector naturally has that dark. Um, and so does Joe Exotic. So kind of worked out really well. And when I was doing his haircut, you'll see I shaved up higher. I did it I came out in front, but back here I went up higher to create more of that mullet overlap. That he has. And then my mom and I yesterday, I thought he had a handlebar mustache, but apparently I know nothing about mustaches. It's called a horseshoe mustache, which also makes sense, uh, logically speaking. And so I shaved that, I freshly shaved it today, and I did that with my Berberas on the 40 because I wanted it to be nice and even and crisp. I 
guys have any more questions? I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but it is a good idea to always shake your dye tubes before you um, squirt them out of there. Just something to think about. It's always food for thought. I just like that all the <laughs> You always want to be a blonde, right? <laughs> no, you're the truth. Good boy, Hector. <laughs> Drew is kind of being done. It's okay. He's basically my brother. I thought she was talking about Hector. Oh. Is he a ding dong? I know yeah. she would say that about Hector too, but he's being cool. He's used to having his ears shaved in like a 40 for the dog shows and stuff, so this was nothing for him. So even though he's got the dark, I'm still gonna throw a little bit of blonde in there because any little white hair that will take to it, why not? We'll just blend it in a little better. If you don't, then it looks weird. So. Can you guys see okay? So on a color like this, is it possible to have too much yellow in a spot? Um, I mean, is it important to spread it out? It's not like it's not going to be more yellow per se. It's just that you won't have color in the areas if you didn't get color there. But as long as you've mixed it up in the container well, um, wherever you put yellow is where that color will be. It's not going to be more yellow in one spot versus another unless you don't get it in that spot. Sorry guys, I'm not used to this whole live thing and the weird electronic audience. <laughs> so I was just curious if you needed to worry about how much yellow is not there on the edge. So um, the part of the reason that I did shaving underneath and have that overlap is it's not going to matter all on that edge. It's really hard to get hair that comes forward to then lay back and get a nice crisp line. So just don't, don't do that to yourself. Don't worry about it. Shave underneath, you're gonna have a little bit of overlap and then that'll save any kind of worry about a crisp line that you're gonna have to have. So now I'm just doing the other ear. Hope everyone is doing well. How many viewers do we have? 21. Cool. How long has it been? How long have I been gabbing? Um. Since birth. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? My mom said since birth. <laughs> You're not wrong. 30 years. There's a reason. I'm not going to lie, both of you. There's a reason that I say 38 <laughs> minutes. 38 minutes? Oh my gosh. That makes sense why I'm thirsty. Uh, I'm Anne asks, are these dyes permanent and how long will the de design last? Great question, Anne. That's Sunquist, right? Yes. Okay, it's actually Annie. Um, Sunquist was, oh, that's, yeah. Hold on, guys. so I try and use that the most. Um, and it will last, like this color will last on him until it grows out. So, and it, it holds its vitamin C amazingly. Uh, when he was a rainbow, gosh, Victoria, do you remember how long it was in between when he came in for the rainbow and then when I came, uh, chopped it off? Um, because it will, it will hold, it will hold the color for a very, very long time, which is awesome because the you know, for customers, they're definitely getting the most bang for their buck because they get to have that color for a very long time. Like when I get my hair done, the hairstylists are always like, are you sure you want to use a lumen? Because like, you can't just get that away. I've had a lumen in my hair for three years. So. <laughs> um, and I really like it. It'll actually be four years in the summer. So I'm like, yes, that is definitely what I want to use. I've been tempted to use Opaws on my hair because I know that it'll hold. 
Um, but yeah, it, it will definitely hold for a long time. On him, I did him, that's partly why he has the hair cut he has and the black in his tail. That's not a natural black. That's actually Old Paws Super Black from when I did him like a Clydesdale horse. Back, I feel like it was sometime this summer. It was, it was in the yeah. springtime because it, well, it was before spring because it was before COVID, COVID. hit. Actually, it might have been well COVID hit because we, I wanted something to do. And we were closed. Yeah. Or Victoria said it was at least two months and yes, the color stayed until it grew out and he got another haircut. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it holds super well. Old Paz does a really good job of making a product that lasts. So you gotta make sure that's what you want your dog to look like. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's something that's really good to talk to your customers about too and making sure that they know and that they understand so this is a permanent dye even a semi-permanent it's gonna hold it might just the color might fade a little bit but like I've done semi-permanent on my own here and it never 100% went away so I've never expected it to on a dog uh, so that's something to really make sure that you communicate to your clients because when everybody's in the know nobody's angry I really like the angled brush so I'm just doing around his eyes but being very mindful that I'm not too close to the eye because you don't you don't like to get stuff there you go good boy make sure you reward that behavior that you want this angled brush is awesome for and you want to go with the way the hair falls. When you're trying to get any kind of precise, go with the way the hair lays. Which in this case is obviously down. You look like he's pretty covered. Good boy. Good boy. All right, and then last but not what? This is to wash your gloves off. Oh, thanks, Mom. She's so thoughtful. So thoughtful. I mean, I would have in this inherited all of that. to leave things a little long because I can bring it back together in the end. Okay, so now we have this here. Oh, that got a little blue. That's okay. We'll mix up a new one. Um, she's like, can you just make sure he doesn't stick a foot in the blue or something? So I'm going to work on this silvery color down the legs. So I think I'll just mix it up in here so I can be done with this tray. And I'll probably use this brush for doing that. you want to use an extra color, not a good idea. Something to be mindful of is if you have a dog that really, really needs a noose and you're trying to do something around the neck, you need help. You, there's no reason that you shouldn't, or that you should be trying to do that without some help because you're going to be fighting all of this. If they need a noose, they're going to rub it everywhere and ruin it. I had a customer ask for a, a pearl necklace on a dog who really just, like she has a hard time getting groomed anyways, so we compromised and did a flower on the tissue. And even that was kind of a struggle. Um, because she's just kind of legally. And so, you know, you want to be honest with your customers about what you can really achieve realistically. Okay, so I have my number one. That's all that it says for the super black color. Just going to do a little bit of that. Okay, and this is a one to one ratio. So, whatever you do with this, you need to do with the number two, which is a, like a cream. about the blue color sitting on him for too long that's I've never had an issue with that so I'm gonna mix these two up like this 
first before I add in a color dilution cream because I want to make sure that I get my black set. And I really am not sure how this is gonna work. I've never used black with the color dilution cream. I'm ideally going for like, like I said, that like silvery kind of color, like gray. We'll see how it goes. If I hate it, I'll just do his legs black and then it'll be boots. That's the nice thing about no expectations and just seeing how it goes. And that's kind of how I roll when it comes to creative dreaming. And at the end of the day, if I feel like, oh my gosh, that is not at all what we talked about. It just didn't work for whatever reason. It didn't take color to the dog. Whether or not it's my fault, I, I just can't and like charge for that. I just, <laughs> that's just not me. I really only charge if it turns out exactly how I wanted, which thankfully has always been the case, but you just never know. So this is the color that I'm getting. I just want to err on the side of caution. I think I'm going to use a little more, more color dilution cream based on how much I used with the yellow to get the color that I wanted, which is, considering how black we know this is going to be, that's so, there's quite a bit. Well, I stitched the Frenchie in that one and then it worked yes. I had to redo. Yes, so um, we did have an experience <clears throat> with a French Bulldog, which um, you guys probably know their texture is rough, and we were having a heck of a time getting the blue to try and take. I mean, how many times did another have to go free? And, I mean, we got it done. But it just would not take, and and I just don't believe in sending it out the door. And thankfully, the dog was you know good for it; it wasn't a big deal. Um, but it was one of those things where it's like, no, we we can figure this out. I know we can, and I really don't want to send a blue blob home with you. So, because he, she was doing a, a this Halloween last year, right? Or the mm -hmm. year before, maybe. Let me grab my water. Um, and. He was supposed to go with a little girl who was going to be Lilo, and I definitely didn't want to let her feelings down. So, pretty mom. Sorry, all this talking. I was trying to add the image to the comments, but it says that I have to send you a request to be accepted. Me. No, oh, Lindsay. No, you're not in the group? no, I'm in the Opaz group, but uh, oh. I would have to be a part of the live video. So um, maybe we can do that Later. after. You're the camera guy. Okay, so I'm hoping that this is going to come alive like I'm hoping. We shall see. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, I forgot I had that brush. But I didn't have that brush on. Do you need me to wash the dish, the other brush? Oh, uh, sure, if you want to. Because um, you are the washing Thank you. All of these? Uh, sure, I am done with them, so. Uh, not yeah, this one, and this one. Yeah, that's the one. And this one, too. So you can actually wash the dish. Oh, uh, and the hair we can toss. Um, sure, yeah, I just kind of wanted to see how it was going to turn out. Yeah. Or you already have. Hopping on here. Um, I have the Opaz, what would you call it? Like a color palette thing mixer, shape premix. You know, or it's like it's one of these, but it's a thing of I think nine of them. And little cups that basically hold your dye in. And I premixed it and kind of took a look. It's a pink tray. Pink tray, thank you. Uh, took a look at the colors to make sure that they were gonna be what I wanted. And I actually had little clippings of his hair from when I shaved him earlier today. And I put them on his hair to double check and make sure that they were going to be what I wanted on his hair. Ooh. As you can see, I'm very used to working with a wiggly dog. Yes, Tracy Wells just asks, what color are we currently doing? So we're currently doing the super black, very diluted with the color evolution cream. Yeah. It is kind of an experiment for me. I've never done this before, but I thought, you know what? Go big or go home. And um, Andrea with Opal recommended it. So I think it'll, it should come together. She works with her down there. But I used a 
lot of the dilution cream to make sure that it's going to really be diluted down to that gray slash silver color. They also sent some glitter, so he'll have glitter. So we're all set again. That'll be next week, though. I'm not going to waste the glitter yet. Once he gets the black on, it'll be pretty cool. Just to remind everyone, this is just the color today, and then next week I will be painting the actual black pattern from his jacket on to the body. That takes quite a while to do something intricate like that, so I wanted to space it out for the dog mainly, because that's a lot to do in one sitting, and I just don't think that's really fair for him to have to stay in there the whole time. So, we may be doing it in two sittings. I was talking with Andrea about it. She was like, oh, do you want to do it in two parts? And I thought, great idea. <laughs> That's a solid choice. Good oh boy. And I like to massage it in. It just learns to relax a little bit more too when I get a little doggy massage. Good boy. Also helps you get good coverage. Maybe I'll do a little bit here too. That'd be kind of cool. And then I'm going to do black on this. Because I want to make these boots black. They're going to be like he's wearing boots basically. And uh, so they'll be black. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm trying to make that happen. This was shaved with a 10. I know I said it earlier um, for my groomers out there. That means that's the length that I'm talking about that I took him down in. Nice and short. Said it, I think, a couple times now, but you can never say it too many times. It's good to, when you're doing precise work, use short hair. Otherwise, your hair gets lost in the crispness. I don't know if you guys do a lot of Chinese presses, but they love attention. Go boy. Hector and I have done quite a bit of traveling with his mom, Victoria. He's a big fancy show dog. And actually his breeder, whose name is also Lindsay, works here at my shop. So if you guys are wondering where to get crested, who's beautiful and wonderful, let me know. <laughs> I personally have Collies and Aussies. Okay, I'm gonna set you guys back down. Yes, let's do it. Ah, no. Skinny little legs. Do you wanna sit? They're also good little bird dogs. I was a little nervous to do it at this shop versus the other one because it's a metal building. So you can like hear when someone pulls up or anything like that. And Hector is pretty sound sensitive and thinks he's a guard dog. So if someone pulls up, he is the first one to like bark and let you know that they are there. But he's actually being really good. And it's been a nice quiet Sunday. That's another reason I picked today to do it. Victoria asks, will he have Joe's signature eyebrow ring? <laughs> Laughing I'm emoji. Working, I'm working on trying to, find, oops, trying to find some like fake earring something. I mean, I can't put it, really put it in his eyebrow, but I was hoping to like, put a little something in his ear. I think that'd be great. Victoria, if you have ideas, you just let me know because I'm all open. We got a week. Sorry, I can't do this all in one sitting, guys. But I don't think Hector's sorry. To shake, I actually train them. I go in here and go shake, 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 and they're like, okay, good boy. And now I just say shake, shake, shake. Good job. All right, last but not least, what I want to do is the black boots and the tail. Oh, and I like, I wanted this mustache too. I was thinking about saving. Maybe I should save that for next week. What do you think, guys? Mustache today or next week? 
I don't know. Let's take a vote on the. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Vote. Let me know. I'm gonna make some black. Victoria says, I want the mustache. <laughs> well, shoot. Mom wants it. I guess we got to do it. <laughs> That's how delayed it is. White that turns black? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's why I was saying you have to mix two together and then it creates the black. I was oh. a little surprised. Sorry, I was in the bathroom washing things. The legs <laughs> didn't. No, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You just need to do that when you show me. So I might have used too much dirty shampoo. Well, the good thing is, if you have to redo it, it's going on black boots, so. Yep. But, like, look, it's already. Yeah, it's already for the boots, it's already yeah. turning. But when his legs Well, it's good to err on the safe side. Yep. I wonder if it's something like I could do really quick and like look at that color right now and then if I rinse it off. Rinse it off? Yeah. Right, it's a hard color to get. What did my mom teach you that when you were little? Like the little black? Are you talking about farther up? Yeah. Because we wanted it to be like his arms. Oh. Is that a jacket or a shirt? Um, I've seen both. <laughs> like you could Google both and it pops up. Ah. So I actually sat and watched all the Tiger King episodes. Yeah, I haven't watched any. Earlier. And it was an adventure. Carol Baskin. No. So it's good to make sure you get it saturated well. Obviously, you can tell I'm lifting up the coat, working it in there, making sure that we're getting it nice and thickly saturated. Gotta have good coverage. Oh, a little foot massage. That sounds good, doesn't it? How's that look? Saturated? Maybe. Ooh, look at that. Oh, this side? I wonder if we needed to let it like process in the bowl first before putting it in. Maybe. Mmm. I never really had it. Mix it and then oh, dilute that? it? Well, that's what I did. Oh. So I guess I like should just put it in the That's, bowl. yeah, I wonder if I just didn't. What if you. Yeah, what if you, if you have leftovers, what if you added the dilution to that? I, I don't think I'll have leftovers, but I can always make it more. I mean, they sent me a lot of black, so. No, no. <laughs> Brush 
is awesome. Every groomer that wants to do any kind of precision work should get one. Four or five. I feel like I did so much talking in the beginning and now I'm really <laughs> Any more questions? More questions? We would we need more questions. Oh. That just means a little more questions. Can you guys see that okay? Here. Uh not on the front. No. Sorry. Kind of Hector's trying to work his way off the table. Trying to get into my arms. Yes. Can you just um smell the sesh, please? Um, he's done. <laughs> that is why we are only doing what we are doing today. A lot for a bell. Right up my nostril. I love grooming. I really love dogs. How long does the super black have to stay on? Whoa! <laughs> uh, it's supposed to smell for 40 minutes, but it doesn't have to. Um, I don't think it's going to need that long. That's another thing to, like, you can think about, um, too, depending on the dog and the dye and how much you're doing because the, the black does sit longer than the other dyes um, or it needs to sit longer than the other dyes so like I could have done the black first I just know him and he's more likely to toe tap in the beginning even though he's kind of like a wiggle one right now he'd be doing it more so in the beginning he looked super cute when he looked at the camera <laughs> people to grab some popcorn and whatnot. So Annie asked, when you're talking about the delusion, mm -hmm. is that just controlling the intensity of the color? Exactly, Annie. That is exactly what it's for. It will do exactly what it sounds like. It will dilute the color down. Because the the old class colors are all really vibrant to begin with, so when you need something that's a little more muted of a tone, the Delusion Cream works really well for that. They also have this really awesome product that I was going to show you, which I saw Lauren <coughs> Piston using for the base of the tail, which is a great idea, and it's called a Color Isolation Cream, and it basically prevents color from, <laughs> color from being deposited in areas that you don't want it to be deposited. So. Some groomers will use conditioner or cholesterol in those areas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course you will. Uh, it's the same kind of concept yeah. as using yeah. conditioner or cholesterol. I haven't really had a whole lot of success with using conditioner. Um, mainly because I see I get it everywhere. But some things that I think are really good to have when you're doing creative grooming, like I haven't necessarily used them here, but um, like I've used Glad Clean Wrap. For a tail, I've also used foils like you do at a hair salon. Um, I've even used like the hair bands that you'll use if you're trying to grow up your top knot on a poodle, or like I do some show havanese that we put their hair up in bands to get it out of their eyes. Um, so I have quite a few of those. Heck. Can you imagine if I would have started this at the beginning? So you're just mixing up more color? Yeah, I wanted to have enough. So I mixed it like this and then added the color dilution cream to it after I finished it. Really. 
actually loves to shake. After his breath, this morning, he's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to do his own tail. <laughs> He's so funny when he, because if you're sitting down, he'll try and jump up in your lap. And so we go, parkour! And he just comes ah, flying up to you. It's so cute. You good? Yeah. Cool. I mean, I'm good. <laughs> nope. Hacker. He's pretty much drying. Yeah, he is dry. Could you mention that? <laughs> Him shaking, can you imagine it being on a loop? It's called a boomerang now. Mom is a hat. Of course there is. <laughs> I have him on boomerang video when he was all ringed all the really long hair jumping up into his mom's arms. It was pretty cute. Having yeah, all that shaking. He likes to joke on legs. You remember how fuzzy his face was? It was so cute. He had like Mickey Mouse looking ears almost. I mean, you're not going to be as cute looking when we're done, Hector, but you look super cool. What are some Halloween things that you guys would think look really cool on a dog like him? Give me some ideas. We can always use fun ideas for next time. Doesn't even necessarily have to be Halloween. Christmas or Thanksgiving mm -hmm. ideas? Yeah. Turkey. A turkey? A turkey monkey. No, 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 I don't have enough either. Are you I, talking about, about this dog specific or just? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can think of any dog. So what, what breeds have the best hair for taking the dyes? So Crestus are really good. Um, Poodles are pretty awesome. Bichons, Maltese. So what consistency of hair are we, are we looking for? It's more that you want a white. Because okay. white absorbs it the best. And then a softer hair. I mean, Poodles, you know, they technically are supposed to have coarse hair. But they don't have coarse hair like a carrier coat. Um, it's a different kind of coarseness. And like poodles are probably one of the more versatile because they have the texture to their coat that also absorbs color. But because they have that texture, they get more oomph and volume to their hair. So you can do more of the contouring into their coat and the coat carving in general. Sticking a little bit on this thing. Oh yeah, not as much as I would have thought. It's, it's kind of got a silvery tone to it. Yeah, because if you look at it compared to his mustache. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's actually just why I touch with the gloves. Well, that never works. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy! I know, Poopy Boo. I call all dogs Poopy Boos. It's just a habit that I've had for a long time. A um, little bit of tidbit of info on me. I show dogs. Um, I grew up showing dogs in Junior Hanley. Uh, my dad was the one who got started when he was 17 in Junior Hanley. And I don't know if you know, but you can't do Junior until you hit 18. So he only did it for a year. But he's been showing dogs basically ever since. He actually started through 4-H. Come here, bud. And... My dad, my sister, and I all show together now, and we breed collies. We'll ask more specifically, but we've had snoots before. We just don't have any anymore. Uh, maybe one day, you never know. And we actually have a dog show coming up in a few weeks. Chelsea has gotten into dog shows now. She came, got started in grooming through the ABC um, program, and we're here to dog show. And I took a real big risk on her because that program only makes you do 100 hours, which is like two and a half weeks. <laughs> so which isn't much, as we all know, in the grand scheme of grooming. There's a lot that's involved after that, but she has a great personality. And I'm so glad that we took the plunge. 
and now she has a Sammy that she's showing me. And her sister just got a Sammy puppy. And yeah, they're totally getting the munchies in the dog show world. Do you have a question, Mom? Um, Amy has a question. Yep. Yeah. Is the mustache going to be brown or black? Brown. I do have brown behind me. Although a black mustache would be kind of cool, but he has a brown mustache, so. Is it all brown? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to look at the picture. Yes, and, yes, okay. Brown. I mean, you never know, because his hairdo is the open. Oh, no, I meant the actual face. person. Yes, I know. That's what I mean. You never know. Oh, gotcha. Hairdo's open to possibilities. So. Gotcha. Okay, I'm doing the tail. He really only needs a touch up on his tail because, like I said earlier, he was a pony. I love Clydesdale horses. I saw I did him like a Clydesdale. He was on the mirror. That's why I like it. And so he obviously saw us black. He even had a black mane and everything, and he was brown all over. And he still was just as bright when he came in to get it all chopped off with some white underneath that had grown out. So what breeds, I mean, now that we know the breeds that are good to color, what breeds just would be difficult, difficult or not even worth trying? Mm, you know, I don't want to say any breed that's not worth trying because I just, I have not been able to try on too many breeds, like in the grand scheme of things. I mean, there's over 150 AKC recommended breeds. I guess maybe are, hair type. Yeah. So, I mean, terriers are definitely can be hard, but like I've done flames on a Jack Russell and that turned out great. I had no issues there. Um, it really just depends on like how open and porous their coat is. Um, so would that mean you would leave the color on longer or what does that mean? There are no guarantees when doing creative grooming. Like you cannot guarantee this will 100% take to your dog because just like in people hair, they cannot 100% guarantee that this certain brand will take because sometimes weird stuff happens. Um, so yeah, sometimes weird stuff happens. So some people's hair types, they just don't hold dye well. <laughs> um, for whatever reason, it just doesn't work out like you might have envisioned. Uh, I think that's probably a lot more rare versus commonplace, but it's just something to keep in mind. Have some kind of disclosure when you are doing your creative grooming bookings and stuff like that, and let people know there's always a possibility that this might not work out like you've envisioned. Like the Airedale that's coming in, you know, with the tiger stripes. I'm a little nervous about that because we're going to have to do, we're going to have to do the bleaching along the saddle that's black. And so if it doesn't lift quite right, we might have to lift it again or something. And, you know, there's a fine line that if you're dealing with hair, you don't want to fry the hair, you don't want to hurt it or anything like that. So you have to be smart about it and just realize that anything is possible. So be prepared and try and just communicate. Communication can make a world of difference when it comes to all of those things that you're testing on. So as far as these colors, how close is it to the same process that's used on human hair? Do you know? I mean, I don't do human hair, but I have had my human hair done quite often. Um, I would say it's pretty close. I mean, as far as the products, like I can get my face in this and I don't get any kind of burning in my eyes. <laughs> I can't say I've had the same experience when it comes to getting my human hair done. So this stuff is definitely like safer to use um, than what we use on human hair. But yeah, I, I just as easily use foils in my hair like they do at a hair salon, or in the dog's hair I should say, like they do at a hair salon. Uh, and just make sure you get that coverage. The difference is the customer might poop or pee on you or something. <laughs> <laughs> and you're also supposed to do the toenails and that kind of stuff, you know, so. I think um, this kind of creativity is more precise, probably, than it comes to, like, dying on a human, because dying on a human, well, I don't know, that's maybe a good comparison, but, like, this, you're, you're creating, a, like, an art piece. Not that human hair is not an art piece, but it, um, it's more like layered in that way. This is more like what I paint here is what will be here. You know, hair is well how it's going to lay. Okay, so what do we think I should do on these legs? I don't know. There's. Does that look kind of gray? Yeah, there's. 
especially if you look at his mustache and then compare him. I think it's very, very close. Unless the pattern goes over the whole thing, it won't. That's true. You, yeah. I mean, we just need like a touch of color. Right. So maybe if I just like rub a little bit of this black. And we go rinse it too. Oh, she's got some like animal. Do the brown real quick, shall we? Here. Oh. Might as well throw this. Don't you go nowhere. Let's see if it'll Might as well throw this all on there. Amy says, you can see the silver gray coming through. iPad so it doesn't fall. I mean, when you pulled on the. Okay. Since changed the labels, these are like the new labels um, on the permanent dies, and then this is what the semi permanent looks like. Just in case you're wondering. If any of you want to order some color, you can use the code FUN at checkout. It's a promo code that I came up with. It's pretty proud of that. I literally wanted to do something fun, so I was like, well. How much more fun can you get than uh, fun? Okay. okay. Uh, do you want me to come around yeah. so they can see? Yep. Uh, let's go this yeah. way. Okay. He's, this is like, you're doing a face, so I have to be quick. Okay, we're just going to fan it out and out. Good boy, Hector. I think I'll just knead it up with my thumb. It's okay. 
I'm really not holding him very hard at all. It's more of a guide um, for the hair color. Okay, see how he can open his mouth? No big deal. The more control you try to have over the dogs, the more they try and fight you. So there's no point in doing that. They need to be comfy. Good boy. Can you guys see that okay? You want to keep it away from his teeth and his mouth. Oh, what a good boy, Hector. Oh, you are such a good boy. I also shaved out the middle, like right under, it's okay, it's okay. Right under his nose. So that I didn't, for one, didn't have to worry about trying to do that color. And two, it just kind of cleans up this mustache a little bit. So see how I'm curling it away from his mouth? I'm just up into my thumb. start back here and then I work my way toward the more precise areas so that my big glob is not right up against his skin and going to spread out everywhere that I don't necessarily want it to go. Again, start back here and then work my way up toward those more precise areas. Good boy. There you go. Victoria asked if, did you let everyone know that they they could see his rainbow look in the latest Oak Paws book? I did not. Good thing, Victoria. Yes, so I mentioned it earlier. Um, Hector is actually that rainbow dye that we were talking about. Mom, can you come up and just push on his butt? You got it, Tilson? Yeah. Okay, never mind. Um, Hector's rainbow dye is featured in Opaz's latest creative grooming book. He's got a full page to himself and he's looking fabulous. It's actually a picture that we took here at the shop. Um, he's up on the counter back there. And he's on page, I think it's 150. I feel like I'm painting a little mouse. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. There you go, oh, good boy. boy. Yeah, good boy. And I'm, again, saved the face for last because I knew he was gonna be super wiggly for it. Just want to touch her. I know you did. Yeah, he very much little and crawling in her lap, and so that's what he's like. Why aren't we doing that instead? Ooh. Who's that? Big old clump. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey! You know better. I know you do. Good boy. So yeah, if you guys get a chance. I'll actually be getting my Opa's creative grooming book soon. I'll try and post it on my Facebook. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, it's the groomer gal. I also have a whole one YouTube video made on how to brush your dog. You're all right, just look. You're all right, just You're okay. Down. You're totally fine. Yeah, there you go. Um, and that video on how to brush your dog is I'm brushing on my rough collie because obviously they have lots of hair. I was trying to come up with a good COVID idea while people were at home and letting their dogs get patted because they couldn't take them to the groomer. Trying to help them figure out how to maintain. Sometimes it's kind of a wiggle match to figure out where they're going to be comfortable at, and you just got to roll with it. So, 
So what are what are you leaving white, or are we? Um, so I'm just doing like the Fumanchu horseshoe, and his face is gonna be left white. Okay. What I oops, sorry, what I mainly care about is just getting this part, not necessarily to his skin, but it's that exterior to really get that shape. You are being a little pro. Where's that? It's only a little bit down here. I love this angled brush, guys. Probably one of my best grooming investments. I think it was probably a good idea that I did the legs and then came back and did this because the legs need to sit for so long. I don't even think I really realized I thought ahead as much as I did. <laughs> or it just worked out that way. Whatever. Either way, I'm rolling with it. Well, it's amazing the transformation from like starting with white. Isn't it? That, well, that black is like, this is going to get, oh, yeah, oh, oh, it's black. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, because you expect it to come out of the tube black. Mm-hmm. Oh, now look at his legs. I know, right? Like I said, if it doesn't, if it ended up not working out with that color, you know, dilution cream, then I can always just go back over it with black. All right, does that look pretty good? How's that look in the camera? Super cool? Sure. <laughs> you look so cute. I don't want to kiss you. Okay, so I'm just going to hold you just very lightly so that he doesn't get it all over himself. And we're just going to leave the rest of him pretty natural. Careful now. Oh, I think that blonde is going to be so good. Yeah. That's a blonde. Yeah, it does look like a <laughs> You look like a noodle. Good boy. Mm -hmm. How's it look in the camera? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, we should do this. Can, can you guys see it? Can you see it coming to fruition? <laughs> or am I crazy here? <laughs> uh, both? You know, there's three cameras on that thing. I have no idea which one to look at. <laughs> Me either. Awesome. You're a good boy. I think it's really so cool. We'll have to get you a watch, Hector. A little Rolex. There you go. Okay, so are there any questions while he processes for a little bit? I can honestly, we can rinse this face last. JC said it looks awesome. Victoria said it looks good. Thanks, JC. Thanks, Victoria. Amy says wonderful. Thank you, Amy. I wish you guys could all be here. So yeah. Natalie says, sorry, my dog angry faced this. She has no room to talk. <laughs> she gets this done all the time and loves it. He looks so good. Oh, good. That's so funny that Pebbles is jealous, Natalie. That's really what it was. <laughs> She's like, why can't I be a Tiger King? Call me Joe. <laughs> all right, I'm going to set him back down <clears throat> over here. Do you think? Something to do with my gloves. The guy is still on your gloves. Do you want to change your gloves? Um, not necessarily because I know the guy will cut holes in these. These are really nice, like salon gloves. Ooh. It's good to have a pair for that. I think I see the only drawback is the black pair of gloves. I can't tell what You can't tell what yeah. color. Yeah, for sure. Oh, you're going to look so cool. Too bad this takes so long and then I couldn't just do the black all today and then the glitter. Oh, and then the glitter. Yeah. Just be, just be done. all done. Yeah. Although I'm kind of glad that we're waiting to look really good for Halloween. So. 
So what would you do if you got the brown on his face uh, after. after the fact? Because his face is so short, um, I would just shave it. Shave it next week? week? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got a week. So that's another reason that I printed up the way I did. Is, is due to just oh, cause making a hint where something was dark where you didn't want it? I could have like used this color isolation trim on his face and that would have protected it, but because it's so short, I don't worry about it. You have dye on your forehead. Yeah, cool. <laughs> nice idea. Hey, girl. He, I know I felt that. Really. Hey, I love you. Thanks, mom. Sorry. Mom often helps me at work. She's wonderful. Do you guys like my shirt up? <laughs> it's your folder sit. No, no. <laughs> she says I'm retired. Yeah, I don't know that that'll come off very easily. Well. Just rip it off like this. I think it. The sooner we get it, the better. Lots of things. I mean, you put that on a while ago. How long has it been, you think? Five, ten minutes for the face? For the face? Yeah. Like, okay. maybe. <laughs> well, we can maybe. the rest of him while this is still processing. I think that's maybe what I want to do. Because I think his boots look great. Um, this definitely has processed long enough. It's just the face. So... Yeah, you want to do that? No, Chelsea does. Not literally you. I mean, I can do it. It's no problem. Uh, but I'm um, just falling in the camera. Okay. Okay. Ooh, texture's so good. I don't even need this. I'm just going to make it light. Come on, I'm going to it up. As you can see, I have three, so. Okay, I'm going to make sure that my water is not on the jet. How long are you going to leave the mustache? Um, probably, I'll probably take a look. How long do you think it's been? Five minutes now? Yeah, maybe. Might dry now. So we can see what the body looks like. Because he does not take very long to dry at all. No, not when he's that short. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you're rinsing this until the water is pretty much clear. As you can see, I'm avoiding doing like this top knot back school area for now because I still have that brown dye on his mustache. Can you hear me okay in the video? I don't know. Can you guys let me know if you can hear me? If they don't respond, then I'll know. Yeah. They're starting to get clearer of water. using my fingers to work through, make sure it's like I work it in, I want to work it out. Starting to look nice and clear. Can hear you fine. Such a great blonde. Oh, I love it. It came out perfect. Something to keep in mind too when you're mixing colors is you can always go darker. So if it didn't, if it was like a little blonde, no big deal. I can always go back over it and darken it up. So that's why I put so much dilution cream in there because I thought, eh, 
I can always add more. So now I'm going to condition it. Oh my gosh, look at that, it's so cute. <laughs> Although I'm not gonna lie, when I think of drones on a cute is not what comes to mind. But a Hector version mm. trying to paint those cutes. This looks so cool. You wanna make sure you saturate these legs really well. Get it all in there. Work it in, just like your hairdresser would do for you. So why don't you use shampoo? Um, I don't want to strip any more color out. You know, I've already rinsed it out. And the conditioner, you'll see, um, after it's set for a little bit, that a little bit more color will come out still, which is fine. But it also is helping to lock back that, um, or lock up, I should say, that hair follicle, which is what we want to help seal it to keep that, that color in. I already bathed him earlier before we did this, so I know he's clean. No big deal. Um, and if I were to shampoo him, then it would just strip some more color out, which I don't want to do. Yeah, like you can even see in the tub, there's a tiny little bit of color deposit. blues that's why you're seeing the the light one and the dark one because his shirt has um like a glimmer to it it's got sequins on it so to help create that difference in texture and lighting i used two different blues one that was a lot more diluted than the other i think i can rinse his mustache it's kind of black. You don't need it to get super dark. Mm -mm. That's kind of what I was thinking. Hey, you ready? Yeah. Hey. Oh, look at his brow! <laughs> <laughs> I might go over and get him next week. What did you say? Oh, oh, oh. What did you say? It was the one that was on top. Ooh, ooh, hold on, bud. Okay, and Chelsea is going to dry him for us, and I will take the camera and go answer all of your guys' questions so that we don't have to worry about it. Otherwise, you can just do it over here, Chelsea. Yeah, I would get that one. He'll stay on the table, but he'll move. And do lots of. touch up that brown because it's too red for my liking. But keep in mind I didn't let it sit the whole time. So factor in. 
Okay. You got him? Yep. Okay. She's going to dry on him. Come with me. You didn't see that. Yes, uh, Victoria asks, do you think you'll ever enter in uh, any creative grooming competitions? Oh, maybe one day when I have a dog to do that with. <laughs> but right now I can't really enter like I probably, I mean, I probably could. I don't know, I haven't really looked at the specifics that are involved with creative grooming and figuring that out. Um, but I think one day I could. If I get a poodle, then probably. I like the temperaments and the kibbles and the coat texture and everything that I can do with that. But I'm also a dog show person, so like I have to show it and finish it and get the title and champion and all that good stuff first. So maybe if someone sends me a retired poodle, then I'll dive into that. Jace. Jace asks, how many colored dyes uh, do you think you've done so far, and what ones were your favorite? Great question, JC. I don't know how many I've done. Um, I've done a lot of like, you know, ears, ears and tail. Um, so I couldn't put a number on that. But as far as like a full body work, I would say somewhere around like five to ten. I really haven't done that many. Not that are full body. I've been lucky to where I have customers that tell me, um, you know, just do whatever you want. Like I, I did one that was literally like a spiral of like rainbow tie-dye mixture on this little white Maltese and the gals always just kind of let me do whatever I want. Um, but that's like, I'm pretty lucky to have that, but I don't have a ton of customers that want that or that have ever asked for that. Um, it's always a really good idea is to have, like if you have a dog, bring them to work with you. Have them run around your shop because then the customers see that and then they're like, oh my god, that's so cool, you know. But, but people don't really think that way necessarily unless they see it. It's not an idea that they think of that even like would exist in everyday. How many times have you done Dixie or Pointer? Uh, Four or five? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So that's why I said like five to ten. Yeah. So I've done like the Grinch for Hall or for Christmas. I did her like a dragon. She's been a giraffe. I think that's really all that I've done on her. Uh, and then you did I, Valentine's Day one time. Yeah, that was, that was just pet paint, though. That's like spray paint. Ah, uh, got ya. Um, I have done like multiple colors on her, though. Like yellow and pink and stuff like that. Um, and then I've done quite a few on Hector. So Hector's been the pony, like I said. The rainbow. The rainbow. We did do Sterling like a panda, which was really easy. Um, a lot of people have asked like how to do stuff around eyes. It, I've used a Q-tip. That works really well. I mean, now that I have the really angled brushes that are fine, it's not a big deal. 
Um, but I, the, one of the first things I started with was pet paint, which is semi, semi from blank. Not semi. It's very non permanent. You can wash that off with water, it's no big deal. And it is like a spray paint for dogs. So um, we did Chelsea's Sammy Ed, like a panda. I just sprayed it on the top coat, which was really easy. And then I was like, okay, how do we do the eyes? And we put it, actually sprayed it onto a cotton ball and took a cotton ball and dabbed it around the eye so that you don't have that aerosol around the eye. So that's another good idea. Q-tips, cotton balls, those are good for the eye area, depending on what you're doing and the permanency level that you want it to be. Any more questions? Were you trying to show me more? Do we have a couple different phones going? So my attention span is a little bit all over the place. I am starting to get more into bleaching. Like I watched Lauren's video that she did with um, Opaz and she had a lot of really good info in there. Um, and I really want to play around with like different textures and how well they lighten and stuff like that. Victoria actually has another dog named Cesare. And I, on last week when I was prepping Hector, I also did Cesare and did some lightning with him and did a little pumpkin and uh, top knot tail and the lightener took really well. So I'm kind of maybe going to be planning of like a fall scene to do on here in the future. Do you always pre-shave uh, the pre two? Oh. Yeah. As much as I can. Um, because if you are going to be doing a haircut anyway, it's a good idea to be using less product um, and then to just have the hair be what you want it to be when you go to color it. Because then your work will be as accurate to what you need it to be in the final product, if that makes sense. And why use more product than necessary? I think Chelsea's all done. Oh, yeah, he looks so cool. Okay, let's go take a look, guys. I definitely think it would have been exactly it, but I'm really not worried about it because I'm going to do it again next week. So, what do you think? It's going to be almost like, oh, I'm going to put a new towel on. Just look at that! Chelsea can keep putting a new towel on. This is our future Joe Exotic type paint. You look so cool! So, yeah, next week we are going to be painting on this pattern that you can see here and Opa's stick. Doing the pattern on his body, on his legs, and then pop some glitter on top and watch it all come together. This blonde came out so great. Oh my gosh, I love that. And that is the glorious yellow with the dilution cream. So Andrea sent me quite a bit because we weren't sure how much it was going to take. She sent me two of these, and I actually still have some in the one. And I, so I haven't even used two. Keep in mind, he is a tiny Preston, so he's not a super big dog. I did shave him down with a set, or a 10, excuse me. So I use less product in general. Um, and that's all something that's good to factor in into your mind, how much you're gonna need for each diet job that you have. Should I comb it so you can really see it? And if this were like final project today, then I would be doing all this and then scissoring it to make sure that he has the exact shape that I want. But I'll do that. Yeah. Do you guys have any more questions? I'm surprised you didn't see me just a good. Any more questions? Is that all we got? Um, What's mom think? I haven't heard from mom yet. Yeah, Victoria, what do you think of your dog? Are you still watching? <laughs> she was. She was asking questions earlier. It's always good to give mom a massage. Uh, she loves it. You love it? <laughs> oh, good. Hector, you can go home. <laughs> Otherwise, who you knows? Maybe I'd have to leave you. Just kidding. Okay, well, thank you for tuning in, everyone. I really appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you all next week on Sunday. Thank you so much, and uh, to all a good night.